Hello, my fellow English lovers. How are you doing? Are you okay? That's fine. Good. Uh, I'm here to teach you English language. As usual, I am Teacher Jasper. We are going to learn together a very fantastic lesson of today, which talks about some phrases that are used in English language. This is a very hot lesson. I would like you to follow it very better and to try to have a kind of book or a notebook somewhere so that you may record some of the words that are very difficult to you. That's fine. We are going to see different or some phrases that are very important that are used in English language. Some phrases. Natanje basuhuza mbabwira ko tujye kwigisomo rigiza cyane rijyanye n'interuro ngufi z'icyongereza kumutangiza zibanziza cyane. If you are a beginner, this is the special opportunity that you are going to get in this lesson because we are going to teach you some of the important words or phrases that are used in English language. Tujye kurebera hamwe amagambo magufi, interuro ngufi zikoreshwa mu cyongereza kumutangizi zikabanziza cyane. Because we are not going to teach you the long sentences because you are still a beginner. Uracyara umutangizi. Nabo natwakwigisha rero ibiteruro birebire cyane. Oya, banza ufate utwingenzi tuzagukura aho umwami yakuye ubusikete. Tuzagukura kure mu gihuye wenda n'umuntu ukoresha ururimi rw'icyongereza. That's fine. Without hesitating to the tinze, let us start our lesson, which is very nice. A very nice lesson, I tell you. Now, when you come to the show, you can see that the lesson is very nice. You can see that the lesson is very In English, you can you can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. You can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. You can't learn, you can't know English language, you can't get English language without studying PAN lessons. I sensitize you to follow PAN YouTube channel, which is there to help you get English language. That's good. We are starting with uh, this, uh, this uh, phrase which is take it seriously. Take it seriously. What does it mean when someone asks you or tells you, uh, can you take it seriously please? When someone says to take something seriously, when someone tells you to take something seriously, it means that he or she wants you to take to put emphasis, much emphasis on something. Abashaka ko utsinda jirichinurunaka, utajenjeka. Take it seriously. This is a very good saying. It's a very good phrase that, I, that is used in English language. Take it seriously. For example, here you can say, This is a big deal, my dear. Take it seriously. Iyi deal, ya tutujita deal muchinyarwanda. Iyi deal rakomeye, chichiraka nguhaye, chirakomeye. Jerajaza wijenjeka, ukore, take it seriously. Bifate ngibi inu bitari mijenje kwa changwa si mishiniko. Eh, bifate ngibi inu bikomeye, take it seriously. What, the story that I'm telling you, you should take it seriously. Nubango, story, ingurundi kukugira, yifate ngawari yo, I'm not lying you, please. It's not a naked lie, it's not a big lie. Nabgari chinyoma, it's not a lie. What I'm telling you is the true. Take it seriously. Take it see, seriously. Good. Then uh, we have the second phrase which is uh, this is not fair. For example, you meet someone. Someone is beating another person. Okay? Then you, you meet him. Then you, you tell him, my friend, you are be beating this innocent person. But it is not fair. This is not fair. When you say this is not fair, it means what you are doing is not fair. What you are doing is not good. Try to stop that. What you are doing is not good. 
it is not something that that is very important, something that is very worse. Try to just stop doing that, please. This is not fair. This is not fair. Ugasangumu umugabo arigukubita kana kegato cha nara kubita chaka kukich. Katumugiruti. If if you are the father of this child, beating is not the, the last the, the, the best solution. What you are doing is not fair. Nuguru uri papa uyumana, gukubita na gari ari wom ari womuti. what you are doing is not fair. Ibjuri gukora nagubikwi. This is not fair. Fair. Then here, stop beating this man. Reka gukubiti yumugabo. Stop beating this man. What you are doing is not fair. What you are doing is not fair. Is not fair. This is a very good phrase that you can use in your daily life English situation. It means that when you want to tell somebody, somebody that what he or she is doing or what they are doing is not fair, yeah, you use it's better to use this this kind of phrase. This is not fair. Fair. Maybe quiet. This is not fair. Good. Number three, you can say, sorry to cut your shot. Sorry to cut your shot. Uh, for example, people are talking. You are in the meeting, for example, but you, you are doing the conversation tate a tate. Tate a tate conversation. Uh, tate a tate hundi ni chigani ro hagati abantu babiri tate a tate ariko ni jambo rifite amamu ko muki mu gifaransa ariko no kirikaza no mu cyongereza tate a tate you can say uh, the two presidents are having tate a tate this means that our kuru bijugu bibihugu babiri bari kugirana iki ibiganiro nubanga ibiganiro hagati abantu babiri ahanene tubyita tate a tate then here you may be having the conversation between two people okay Muri babiri, you are two people, you are trying to discuss about some issues. Muri kugani wa kubi nurunaka. No, no, ukaza kujirijite echerezo, mujie mujienzu wa wari kufuga. Uka itumu girati, sorry to cut your short, my dear. This means that mbabari la kubangu chemijambu. I have another idea or I have a new idea. This is a very good expression or a very good phrase that you are going to use when you are talking with someone and you get an idea automatically or immediately. Then the time you are going to stop him or her, it's better to use this kind of phrase by saying, please, sorry to cut your short. Yeah, azab jumvaneza. Aho kujira ngu mvujire mo, nuna mubira kokanu, nibjiza kuwanzo kwa mugiruti, sorry to cut you short, my dear. I have another idea, or I have got a new idea. Good. Then here we are going to see the example. You can say, sorry to cut you short, sir. Nyakuba homba wala kuwa nguche mnijambo, sorry to cut you short, sir. Uh, I have got another idea. Harichindi jiteche rezo njizi. Na kutukwa wikora gurcha na gurcha. Yeah, that is uh, uh, sorry to cut you short. Hanubu ndi ujwa wivuga mo, tuvu gango, sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you. Mbabari ya kugucha, ngijam. Good. Let us continue with the number four, which is here. Yumu narikoro hirgwa. It's better to say she's getting better. Where is, uh, how is Joseph at the hospital? How is your wife? How is your wife now? Mugorowa wamezate, hey my friend, you know, uh, now God has done something that is very great. Imane edukore ichinu jitanga as a miracle. Now my wife is getting better, or she's getting better, or you can say they are getting better. Maybe there are two people who got an accident, who crashed last time. Aba nubaji zeguche vako zimanuka. Then, they are at the hospital, Arikonono, by the time being, Muraka uh, Kanya, okay, or at, at this moment, at the moment, Barikujendaboro Hirgo, Shorkuguti, oh, they are getting better. My cousins are getting better. Babjara Banja Barikujenda, Woro Hirgo, or my uncles are getting better. Good. To get better means Koro Hirgo, Kusubira, Kusanuri Gusubira Mugusma, Sanswe, Gabrimosi, Utarimo, Uruguay. Good. Then, uh, for example, here we have two people, uh, they are going to show us uh, the use of getting better. Good. They are going to demonstrate, or oh, this, this is a very good illustration for the use of getting better. For example, this is a dialogue of two, of two people. Hannah Harawan Wabiri. How is Jane at the hospital? How is Jane at the hospital? Oh, she's getting better now. Good. Jane Amezate Kubitaro. How is Jane at the hospital? No, no, B, I get a good, I forget it. 
she is getting better. Try to understand, try to get that. It's better to memorize it, yes? It's not very, it's not difficult to memorize this phrase. She is getting better. Yeah, she is getting better. We are getting better. They are getting better. I am getting better now. Good. I'm getting better now. Good. Then number five, uh, it's a very good saying, uh, a very good uh, phrase, uh, which is try your best. When someone asks you, when someone tells you to try your best, yeah, he wants you to improve from just from the lowest level to the highest level, to improve, to do something better, okay, than usual. For example, uh, you've got a uh, few marks in exam. Today you have failed exam, but next time try your best to get good marks. Good. What sins it's like just try your best. I will try my best to teach you English very well. To try my best. Good. Uh, then uh, here we have an example. Good. Here you can say, my friend. Try your best to learn all English lessons that I taught you. Good. Try your best to learn all English lessons that I taught. This means that ningo kumugiru tishuti yange jela jesi mishoboka, huh? Kujira ngobige amasomo yo se niji shiji. That's a piece of advice. I'm giving you some piece of advice. This means that. Uh, Ningo kuvuga ngo koriyo bwabaga subira inyuma niba uri mushashya urebyira isomo subira inyuma cyangwa umpamagare nimero zibazira aho ngaho nyuma y'isomo tushiraho nimero murabizi nduvuga ngo uze kunyandikira cyangwa umpamagare umbwira uti ariko teacher amasomo yubushize ko ntayabona just i'm going to to help you good number 6 here you can say i have no idea we don't say idea in English. No, that's not English. It, no, it's not English for sure. We say idea. When you say I have no idea, for example, you may come and say, uh, do you know the president of Liberia? president of Liberia. My friend, I, I have no idea. This means that you have no idea. Do you know how many districts are there in Rwanda or are here in Rwanda? How many districts are here in Rwanda or are in Rwanda? Then we get Muguruti, my friend, I have no idea. This means that I don't know. I don't know. Or I don't have any skill about that. Good. Then uh, here we have an example. Uh, for example, A and B. We have two people here. Just the first person is going to ask the second one. What time is it? What time is it? Then I have no idea. Good. The last one, not the least. I was kidding. For example, we are two people, we are friends, we are in the pub, we are in the pub, we are discussing, we are trying to discuss, to, to have some cheers and whatever, we are having fun. No, no, my friend, I will give you a cow tomorrow. I will give you what? A cow? A cow tomorrow. Wokabifata as it is very serious, as serious as possible. Then that time Ukazukanya Jira Ngamujiton to come ju tasakuminimge at young Harero na inja kuire. My friend, I was kidding that time. Huh? I was ki I was kidding. Yeah, it's like I was joking. Narindi mok mobjukuri kujagute, narindi mokwichi nira. Na just I don't have any cow here. Hmm? I just my cow shed is empty. Ichiraru chanja chirajize gute. I don't, ha I don't have a cow. But that time, that time I was kidding. 
ko ndi kwikinira buryo bifashe did you take it as serious as possible or did you take it seriously eso bifashe nk'ibintu biri serious cyane but i was kidding that time good then here we have an example which is uh, uh, my wife don't take it seriously twabonye to take something seriously good yeah we bifata nk'ibintu bikomeye we bikomeza don't take it seriously i was kidding that time mu byukuri nari ndigu nari ndigu kina nabwo nakubwiye ko uri mu bi my wife my wife you are a, yeah, you are very good you are you are very beautiful you are very cute uri mwiza cyane that time but that that time i was kidding cyaje nakubwiraga kuri i was ki i was kidding good then uh, these are all phrases these all phrases are there to help you ibyo tumaze kwiga bigomba kugufasha byanze bikunze first of all twabonye take take to take take it seriously take it take take it seriously secondly this is not fair this is not fair cyangwa se it is not fair it is not fair nibikwiye third twabonye sorry to cut you short sorry to cut you short mbabarira kuba nguciye mu ijambo ayo samagamba tatu sintero sha tugomba kwibikaho izo nesha kane she is getting better ni butaruza kakana nako gafasha gafate she is getting better ari koroherwa five try your best kori bishoboka try your best to pay him kori bishoboka kumwishyura try your best to pay him good ugurun uraza umuntu kuri mu nyine umubereye mu mwenda uramuzi nawe wowe uri kundeba but no I, I, i'm joking yeah i'm kidding good then here number six, you can say i have no idea i have no idea nka gitekerezo na kimwe mbifiteho cyangwa simbizi i have no idea number seven, i was kidding i was kidding nari ndimo kugira gute nari ndimo kwikinira ubwo bishize muri present wavu gute I am kidding. Ubundimo kwikinira. That's fine. I thank you so much for this lesson. I think you've got it very uh, perfect 300%. It was a very good lesson for sure because it is going to to help you improve your level of English language. You should get more phrases as more as possible in order to get English very well. Yes, we have many. This is part 1 as you see here. This is part 1 and we have many phrases of English language. This is part two, and don't miss out part two, my dear friend. If you want to learn English very well, try to be together with us at the end of, until the end of this lesson. Mubjukuri, bananatkwe kujeza irisomo rirangi. I am teacher Jasper. We are going to continue teaching you different hot lessons and all important lessons, good. Then we are coming here. This is number one of some of the phrases that we have prepared for you. This is number one. Iyi ni ntero ya mbere tujye kureba ngufi ikoreshwa mu cyongereza. When you say I'm very pleased to meet you. What does it mean? When you say I'm very pleased to meet you. It's like saying I'm very happy to meet you or I'm very excited to meet you. When you say this, you are together with the hearer, you are together with the, someone that you are talking to or you are together with someone you are discussing. Then when you start the sentence by saying I'm very pleased to meet you, this is a new student maybe numushasha maybe uh, he's a new comer from different areas okay or he's a new person from you numu numushasha mugiye guhura murahuye mumaze guhura muraganiriye ariko none ntero ya mbere yaba nziza uhuye numuntu a stranger person someone who is stranger umuntu mushasha kuri wowe it's better to say i am very pleased to meet you azagu azabyishimira cyane kukumubwira uti nishimiye guhura nawe you may use this these three uh, sentences which are here interchangeably wakoresha izi nerwo zose koresha tu mu buryo bumwe cyangwa ubundi shobora kuvuga kuti i'm very pleased to meet you cyangwa gakoresha ingi i am very happy to meet you or i am very excited to meet you umubwira kuti ndishimiye cyane guhura nawe this is this is a very good sentence my friend it's a very good phrase ni phrase nziza ya gufasha mu buzima bwa we bwa buri munsi bw'icyongereza especially when you meet someone at the first time for the first time mugahura noneho ugahita umubwira iyi ntero 
bizaba ari biza cyane the second one the second sentence which is here it's get out of my sight get out of my sight when you tell somebody that just you don't want to see somebody just uh, on your side mu byukuri urabona site na handi kureba nyine site nuva ngo ubwi umuntu ngo get out of my sight mu mubwira ngo mva mu maso site na hureba mva ho ndi kureba mva mu maso get out of my sight it's a very yeah it's a it's a sentence that is used for someone who is very angry umuntu urakaye cyane and if you are not happy if you are very sad uh, someone has made something bad for you umuntu yagukore ikintu kibi cyane gikomeye eh cyangwa urabona umuntu atari shasha si mwiza si umuntu mwiza wo kuba mwaganira ushobora guhita umubwira uti get out of my sight i don't want to see you si cyako kubona get out of my sight mva mu maso get out of my sight good then here we have uh, we have a kind of ex, uh, example or illustration that is going to help us understand the use of get out of my sight. For example, here you can say, get out of my sight. You are not a good person to trust. We don't say person, we say person. You are not a good person to, tra to trust. When you say this, which means that then kavuguti get out of my sight umwana yagukose yagukoshereje yiriwe iyo ngiyo ntiya gufashije imirimo nkama mugaita umubwira uti wabonaje ugaita umubwira uti get out of my sight my child what you have done is not good for me you have deceived me one hengushi get out of my sight this is yeah then this is a very good phrase to know in english language get out of my sight get out of my sight na kan koreshe kugafata it is very simple very easy yeah you should memorize it yeah because when you are going to speak english you will use some of these you will use some of these phrases that i'm teaching you nujya kwigisha mu byukuri cyangwa se ugiye kuvuga icyongereza uzakenera nawe gukoresha izi nteruro ngufi mu cyongereza my dear friend uzabikenera byanze bikunze that's why you should try your best to attain eh to get okay this phrases good then uh, number 3 which is this one is stop joking stop joking rekimichino stop joking when will you tell someone this nirya ruzabwira umuntu ibi ngibi stop joking for example umuntu akamubwira uti waruzi ko ngiye i'm going to join army ngiye kwinjira mu gisirikare ngiye ku musirikare no no wowe kubera ko azi uko ukunda gukina akakubwira terekareke ibyo bintu ntabwo yo wita umubwira stop joking my dear stop joking nta mikino mfite i'm very serious now another example for example you are two brothers at home mwese muri 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 aba muri abavandimwe mu rugo umwe akakubwira ati ubu noneho nta mikino niwe uri bujye guteka it's it's your turn to go to cook or it's your turn to cook food Then when you say that akubwiye gutyo ugahita uvuga atarekareka nje yo nteka kuko tigeze uteka ni we watekaga gusa ashobora guhita kubwira ati my friend stop joking stop joking rekimi kino stop joking this is your turn to cook no utahiwe kugira ngo uteke we don't say turn no we say turn it's my turn this is your turn to cook good then number four here it's a very good and very magnificent um uh, phrase it's a magnificent phrase yes which is get rid of that get rid of that muchongereza you koresheje akakajambo get rid of that get rid of that niwo kuvuga ngo byikuremo kibagirwe bivemo ibyo bintu get rid of that for example you can say uh, here we have to the conversation of the dialogue we have dialogue between two people number a and b a and b do the a na b bagiye kuganira tujye kureba get rid of that bishatse kuvuga iki number one, or the, the, the first letter which is a maybe is john wenda dufate ko ari john and mary bagiye kuganira ashobora kukubaza how is your business how is your business now is a business yawe mezite ugaita umusubiza ati get rid of get rid of that let's continue our discussion or get rid of it nyovango yireke ibyo ibyo bireke 
If you have a business, don't ask me about my business. Eh? I got a very big loss. I don't want to repeat uh, the loss that I got. Get rid of that. If you have been weak, get rid of that or get rid of it. Your business. Let's continue our discussion. But, uh, but uh, get, uh, but let but get rid of that. Another example which is going to help you fix very well uh, this use of uh, get rid of that, it's this one. My dear. For example, when you say, she wanted her son to, to get rid of bad habit. She wanted her son to get rid of bad habit. He wanted, or she wanted, she wanted her son to get rid of bad habit. Get rid of rero, gafate. Eh? Don't get rid of me, please. To get rid of someone, do you want to get rid of me? Which means that, uh, communication, collaboration, or, or partnership. Get rid of. Good. Then number five, which is good and very perfect. Right now, at the moment. Good. This one is keep it up. Keep it up, it's a very good expression or a very good phrase. When you are, pres you are, when you are appreciating, when you are congratulating someone, when, just instead of saying congratulations, congratulations. We don't say congratulations. No, no, no. We say congratulations. When instead of saying congratulations, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. No, no, to kabihuza to kavga keep it up. When you say keep it up, ni muji umu ya jize ya tsinze, ya wonya manota menshi, ya zanye. Yabonye imodo kimge ariko komereza ubone byiri ubone nesha tu yubatsinza hantu komereza nko rwose tukuri nyuma then we use keep it up good here uh, we have another example which is going to help us urugero nanone reka rudufashe keep it up for example umwana ashobora kubwira se akamubwira ati father i've got 90% in my exam i've got 90% in my exam Ati papa, nabo nyama nata mirongu chenda mchizamini. Kujana. Desi 90% abonu mugaba gasi hundi. Na abgara amanota yo kuisuchira. Chango se, wa, mwenye shiruwe sabona. Father, araita mugira ti. Keep it up, my son. Mwana wanje. Kwa merezao. Which means that, ni woku mugiru ti, ni woku mushira mga kanyabu gawa ti, urgo suza jirene mirongu chenda na tan. Why not can't you get 95%? Good. We have number six here, which is put much effort. Put much effort. We don't say effort, John Jereza. This is not effort. We don't say effort. We don't pronounce this word as effort. No. We say effort. Effort. When you say put much effort, no, 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 Why? Why can't you build it very fast? Put much effort. Put much effort. For example, you have a worker of it mukozi, okay? No, no, wa mukozi wa wakoribi nu gahoro gaho. He is very slow. Okay, to mugiru, my friend, try to put much effort in this job. Muraka gazi, try to put much effort this job. This means that uri kumugiru tishira mnga teje jera jesa. Try your best. Yeah, put much eh effort. Koribi show waka kuburi jibu nuviranji. Good. For example, here yeah, we have two people, okay? Uh, the person A, then the person B. The person A, actually, Father, I have got 30% in my exam. Keep it up. Keep it up. That time. Now, it's better to say, uh, put much effort. Shiramo imbaraga. Ibjurimo sibjo. I pay school fees. Nishwa mafranga i should. Then you are getting this. Now I've got sujiza kumutu kachanga kumutu nga nyariko wa mujiri nama. Put much effort. Uh, today you, are, you have failed the exam, but tomorrow try your best to get good marks in exam. 
Good. Then these are very good phrases that can help you get your English language. My dear friend, a piece of advice. Inama na kujira. I'm going to give you a piece of advice for free. Kubo nurgoz. Noko ibindi bjo se waja wajamo kuri YouTube. Changwa izindi mbug. Utabanje kuiga ya masomu. Uri guhomba chan. You are in a big loss. You are in a big loss. But if you don't know English, try your best. Put much effort to learn English on pan edutainment. This is the right time to follow part three of our lesson, which talks about some important phrases to know in English language. We are going to see part three. You remember part one and part two. These were delicious lessons, good lessons. The lessons which helped you to understand or to know some of the phrases that are used in English language. Then, this is part three of some important phrases to know in English language. Try to follow this lesson. You are going to benefit more. Uje kujira jinshi wungu kamujukuri muri risomo kuko nijiche chagatatu. Amagambo changwa simneru rotkware je ubushize haricho zagu fashishi. Haricho zagu sije mururimi rguawo, murujendo rguawo. Then this part three is there to help you understand, get some of the phrases that will help you get English language very well. The English that we are teaching you is based on speaking. That's why we bring some of, some of the lessons uh, which are like this. We are going to start from the first phrase, which is very important, which is this one. For example, you need to explain to me that again. You need to explain to me that again. When you say you need to explain to me that again, this means that ugomba. Changwa se ningomga ko waunjera kunsova nuriraviriya. Sinabjumbi seneza. Changwa se narabjibajiwa. For example, you may forget something that someone told you. Then it's better to say, it's better to say, to use this sentence or this phrase. You need to explain that to me again. You need to explain that to me again. I forgot everything you told me. Then it's better you need to explain to me that again, that again. Then here we have an example, a kind of example. You can say, I forgot. I forgot what you told me. I forgot what you told me. You need to explain that to me again. Jababjiza wonje ye kunso biriramo. Changwa kunso banurira ibjo wamgi. This is a good sentence. Kandi tura bichene, tura tuchene yururu jero, mubuzi mabugachu, gibjo dukora. Please, my boss, may you explain to me that again? Or may you explain that to me again? Jose vira koreshko. May you explain that to me again? Ese wansu wa nurira, viri ya, wamgi, ya nubundi. Because I forget, I forgot. I forget now. When you say I forget, but I forgot, I will forget. And they told me many things. Maybe, or perhaps I forget. I will forget in the future. Then it's better to say, you need to explain that to me again. Okay? Or you need to explain to me that again. You need to, ex to explain to me that again. Or you need to explain that to me again. Again. Good. The second example or the second phrase, sentence, is this one. You make me smile every time when I see you. You make me smile every time when I see you. You make me smile every time when I see you. Ijiechose ngubonye utuma mge nyura. 
ndamwenyura uyu ni numutoma this is a love point my friend numutoma rwose umeze neza cyane for those people who are wooing or people who are dating abari gutereta this is a very good sentence you may tell to your your spouse or your your girlfriend or boyfriend numutoma wabwira umukunzi wawe you make me smile every time when i see you utuma mwenyura igihe cyose nkubonye ubwo kumwenyura muziko ari akarango kagaragaza ibyishimo yo wamwenyuye ubugaragaje ibyishimo good then number number three here you can say you must learn something new every day this is a very good say it's a very good phrase ni nintero nziza ushobora gukoresha mu byukuri you must learn everything new or something new every day you must learn something new every day ibiza bibwira umuntu umugira inama yoko akwiye kujya nibura buri munsi amenye ikintu gishya it's better to learn something new every day if you are a human being niburi kiremwa muntu ikiremwa muntu kibe kirakigerageza gukora gukura yaba mu gihagararo cyangwa se mu gongo nuzaje bya mutafasha amagambo atanu yicyongereza five vocabularies in english ujumenya yuko mu byukuri utari gukura then it's better to tell somebody to give a piece of advice to someone that he or she must learn something new every day rero nubibwira umuntu azakumva neza uzabunana na mugiriye inama you must learn wori kundeba you must learn something new every day byaba byiza mu byukuri wize ikintu gishya buri munsi hari ikintu gishya watoye tekereza kubyu kuba wabyutse none nejo kazaba ari kuri nta nta improvement wagize muri wowe it's a calamity birababaje cyane ni ikibazo gikomeye cyane it's a calamity good then here we are to number four here which is i usually finish my work around 6 i usually finish my work around 6 pm when i say usually means buri gihe nsoza kazi kanje saa 10:00 z'umugoro 6 pm When you tell somebody this, mu byukuri ni ntero nziza ubumubwiye, kuburyo yumva koko when do you finish your work? When do you finish your work? I usually finish my work around 6 p.m. I usually, I every day, I all the time finish my work around 6 p.m. And we say work, we don't say work. My work, no, we say work. Homework. Twarabibonye bingi, we say work, work, different work. Good. When you say I usually finish my work around 6 p.m. ubutandukanye nundi wende ushobora kuvuga kuti I usually finish my work around 5 p.m. uyasoza saa 12 undashobora gusoza saa 11 z'umugoro. Then bazakubaza ikibazo gute bashobora kukubaza ngo when do you finish your work? Nirya urangiza kazi kawo. I usually finish my work around 6 p.m. Good. Number five here You need to focus on this please. Yeah, it's better to say to tell someone ukabona umuntu ntabwo yibanda ku kintu ushaka ko yibanda ukamubwira kuti you need to focus on this. Focus. To focus is to put much emphasis on something. No gutsinda gira cyangwa kwibanda ku kintu runaka. For example, you have a job but you don't focus on your job. Uba wasinze wagize ute kandi ufite akazi. Akazi kawe niko kagutunze. Rero umuntu ashobora kukwegera akakubwira cyangwa ukegera umuntu ukamubwira kuti You need to focus on this please. Focus on something no kwibanda ku kintu. You need to focus on this job please. Yubwiye umuntu cyo umubwiye uti ugomba kwibanda kuri aka kazi kawe. Because without your job you can't survive. Survive. Udafta aka kazi kawe ntabwo washobora kubaho. Then it's it's better you had better focus on your job please. Good. Number six. Ni ntero zizo ushobora kugira umuntu uti I don't like to work under pressure. You see? Singunda gukorera kuba umuntu ya yamata, yamata ngo nkore ampushinga gukora kazi. Ah ah, nkunda kuba ndi free, singunda ko gukorera umukoresha unkoresha under pressure. Duba gukorera under pressure no gukora ku buryo niba wicayo yakubwiye ngo koroga ruko iminota ibiri ari buze kuza n'inkone ngo kubita tijya gukazi. Yes, umuntu ashobora kukubwira ati I don't like to work under pressure and me too i don't like to work under pressure 
sinkunda and many people don't like to work under pressure nubwo noneho uba under pressure dikubera ko boss nyina ari byo ashaka kubera ko ukeneye amafaranga you need money that's why you you work under pressure ariko umuntu abakeneye freedom you should have freedom but i'm not sensitizing you sindi kubakangurira kudakorera under pressure abo ndi kubabwira ko ushobora kubivuga mu buzima busanzwe bwa buri munsi i don't like to work under pressure sinkunda gu sinzi ukuntu nabivuga neza mu kinyarwanda sinkunda gutegekwa cyane cyangwa se gukora ruko banshyizeho igitugu cyane kugira ngo nkore eh nkora kubera ko ngomba gukora nyine ariko nta guhatirizwa cyane i don't want to work under pressure Number seven, you can say, do you remember what happened the last night? Do you remember what happened the last night? For example, uh, last night people fought. But you, you don't remember. Then I come and uh, I remind you. My friend, do you remember what happened last night? People fought last night. This is verb to fight. You have to verb to fight in the simple past. People fought. Yesterday or last night, people fought. Do you still remember what happened last night? This, this is a very good sentence. This is a very good phrase that you should try to memorize, should try to get. Do you still remember what happened yesterday? Or do you still remember what happened last night? Or oh, you can show a good good. I don't remember. I don't remember. Remember, Simji Bukargos. Can you please remind me? You give me nothing. Ese wa nyibuta. Can you please remind me? Yes, good. To remind, kuibuta. To remember, kuibuka. To forget, kuibajir. For example, you can say, I forgot everything that happened yesterday or last night. Ni ni ba juu bi mubjo se java. No no kajenda. Aukamugiro. Let me remind you. Let me remind you means rekamuibu muibuts. Let me rema remind you. Do you still remember what happened last night when the nawe uzi event yaba yejo njewe ntazi ushobora kuyibutsa mugenzi wawe cyangwa ukayinyibutsa Do you still remember what happened last night This is a very good sentence to know Iyi ni urunu rugero rwiza watahana mu byukuri wowe udukurikiye Good number 8 is the best sentence is the best phrase to know You can say laughter is the best medicine laughter Laughter, from verb to laugh, laugh no gusek. Laughter ni jitkwenje. Laughter is the best medicine. You vuzuri cha ni wongo jitkwenje, ni wongo ti wambere, ubaho, kurutimdi mitiyos. Vishate kufuga ngo, iyo muna setse, yonje rimisi yoku wawo. Laughter is the best medicine. Sibjiza kuzana wrinkles. Do you know wrinkles? Imi hanyari. You are, you are in the world, my friend. Don't bring wrinkles. Because tomorrow you are here, next time you will not be here. That's why just you should laugh, you should try to, to be happy, to have fun with your friends. Then don't bring wrinkles. Wrinkles. Huh? Wrinkles means huh? it's better to laugh so that you can survive this world. Laughter is the best medicine. Nubango, ijitkwenje, numuti wambere. Eh, chache, chowra, kubibigiru mwono, mubigiruti, mubijukuri, nuka juhoro babaye. Laughter is the best medicine. Guseka, nibyo biza atuma, mubijukuru ramba. Kandi koko menya, scientific, scientifically, scientifically, ubanza ribyo. Muburijo buri scientific, ubanza, guseka, bitera, kuramba. Good. Then, uh, number nine, you can say, I need to speak to my boss. Yushaku vugu tinda shaku vuga na na. Who do you need? Uchene yende hano. I need to speak to your boss. Nda shaku vuga na na boss wawo. I need to speak to my teacher. Nda shaku vuga na na mngari muwanji. She needs to speak to her boyfriend. Ara shaku vuga na na boyfriend iwe. Nishutie. They need to speak to us. Bara shaka kuvuga na na. Yushaku vuga nda shaka kuvuga na na. You say, I need to speak to. Ukwanjira the title of that person. Ukwanjira ho titre yuwa munu shaka njine kufuga na nao. I need to speak to my doctor. Kubira kwa ndarguwa ye, just I have a private doctor, then I need to speak to him. Ndasha kufuga na nao. I need to speak to those people. Mureche mfuga ni nabari ya ba. I need to speak to them. 
to them. This is a very good expression that you can get. Uh, this is a very good. This is a very good phrase to get. Good. Uh, the last but not the least is this this one number ten, which is I never thought it would end like this. Sinijezi nteche zako biarangira guri. Sinabi teche zako ibi bi nubi biarangira guri. Hey, koko biarangira guri cha kweli. Biarangira guri sunyanze. Oh, I never thought it would end. Like this. Ni wangu kugiru munuti. Sini jeze nechileza kuchana. Sini jeze nechileza kubibini. Shora kurangira gurchi. Koko. Na another photo. Even no picture that you are giving me. Please my friend. I, I never thought. It, that it would do end like this. Or. I never thought it would end like this. Like this. This is a very good uh, phrase. Sentence. That you can tell to somebody. You can give. You can try to. To, to tell somebody. Uh, maybe somebody is, uh, doesn't want to continue love, okay? The love between, yeah, he wants or she wants to separate the love between you and her. I never thought. I never thought. Nabgo na tetele zaga kuvu nubi arangira guri. Changwa se nabgo na tetele zaga ko wamuza ho gukuza ho monu mchinyarwanda chovungo wuno gukuza ho ariko ni ngo kuba wa hemuchiro mon. Sina tetele zaga ko wa hemuchira guri. I never thought it would end like this. Like uh, it would end that, like this. Sina tetele zaga ko bjaenda guri. Good. These are very good sentences to know in English language. Very good expressions and or phrases that you should memorize in your mind. Ukabimenya. Ukabimenya from uh, the first one, you need to explain to me, or you need to explain that to me again, or you need to explain to me that again. Uh, or the, the second one, ukamenya, you make me smile every time when I see you. Number two. Number three, ukamenya, you should know this. You must learn something new every day. I'm telling you, you must learn something new every day. Number four, it's better to understand this. I usually finish my work around 6 p.m. When do you finish your work? Teacher, I usually finish my work around 4 p.m. Jensoza, akazikanje, sakumi, zumugoro. Ukamenya, number five. You need to focus on this, please. Ugomba kuiba nda kuri chichinu nyamoneka. Number six, I don't like to work under pressure. Simunda gukora ariko abanuba ndiho cha neva pushinga gukora. Simunda gukora ni sanzui. I don't like to work under pressure. Number seven, you can say, do you remember what happened last night? Number eight, laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is the best medicine. Number nine, I need to speak to my boss, please. Number ten, I never thought it would end like this. Uitkwari yututunu. Ugatkwari ya magambo. Ichumi koko. Izinheru richumi. Jagutkwari. Thank you very much. I am teacher Jasper. See you next time. We are together. We will teach you English very well. Bye-bye.